Some of the most world-changing battles and conflicts of World War II took place throughout Micronesia, the Philippine Sea, and the Mariana Islands. What I saw was about nine or twelve in a, like a squadron, you know, flying together, low altitude, very low. We went mad, and the priest told us to go home, take all the necessary things you need to survive, and run and hide somewhere. We were so scared, and uh, we, of course, it was just so much commotion as to where would we go to stay, you know? Uh, how are we gonna get there, and uh, would we be all right? So it, it's just questioning my mind whether we would be safe. The Japanese took my, our only cow, we had one cow, and uh, they took it down. And my dad went down to plead with them. That's the only cow we have. Please return it. And this time when they were beating him up with sticks, bamboo, tanantong, and, and I was so mad, I picked up a rock. And there was an old gentleman by the name of Pedro Francisco. Uh, I picked up a rock. I wanted to throw it at that Japanese beating my dad up, and he helped me. He said, son, we'll all die if you do this. We'll all die. The other one was when they uh, forced people, they would round out people to watch the beheading of our own people. And you can't say, you know, you gotta, you, they told us you have to look, you have to watch. This is their way of showing us, you know, we can make example out of this one. My mother was beaten up because she was sick one day and she didn't go to work for the Japanese. And they beat, beat her, beat her so bad that she was urinating on herself. And when the American took over, you know, came, uh, we, we also have to get ready and start marching down to uh, Bradley. Bra Bradley. Uh -huh. We walk again. We were hungry. And uh, we were, there's no, uh, uh, yeah, they, they did not advise us to get food or anything, you know. We just said, they just told us to get ready and help the, uh, go with the people that were marching down there. And that was a long march. I was sick, really. I had the flu. And so my uncle carried me all the way down. People were starving, man. We, we ate a uh, little breadfruit, not quite mature yet. You know, coconuts, baja, you know, wild bananas. Anything that we can find people uh, eat. When I saw the Marines, they gave me a Hershey bar of candy, chocolate, I'll never forget. But I wanted food, and you know, you know our culture, you don't ask, you know. But later on, they gave us sea rations, you know, those canned or war uh, meals. And I said to myself, here are the Americans liberating us. We were American nationals before the war. The U.S. Democratic former government is not the most perfect. But during my travels, when I joined the military, it is the best. The liberation seems to be something that all people should really remember. Remember that you never know the value of freedom until you lose it.
Join us as we walk through the history of a war that changed the world 75 years ago. In the coming months, we will honor and pay tribute to those who lived and suffered through the war and those who died. We will hear stories of bravery and resilience and of the legacy that has come from it.